I'm love on you. I hope you're doing fabulous. I'm going to get right into this. The Lord has just stirred my heart today for this. It's in 1 Timothy 6, 11 through 14. It says, but to you, Timothy, are a man of God. So listen to what he said. So you, Timothy, are a man of God. So you, beloved, you, daughter of the Most High, you, son of the Most High, you are a man of God. You are a woman of God. Bless the Lord. He said, so run from all these evil things. Pursue righteousness and a godly life along with faith, love, perseverance, and gentleness. He says to fight the good fight for the true faith. Hold tightly to the eternal life to which God has called you, which you have confessed so well before many witnesses. And I charge you before God who gives life to all and before Christ Jesus, who gave a good testimony before Pontius Pilate. The last verse says that you, excuse me, that you obey this command without wavering in a world where no one knows what line to stand on. No one knows what they believe because there's so much gray area. He says, without wavering, beloved. He said, then no one can find fault with you from now until our Lord Jesus comes again. Oh, bless the Lord. Listen to this. I'm going to read. It says, for at just the right time, Christ will be revealed from heaven and by the blessed and only mighty God, the King of King and the Lord of Lords. Oh, bless the Lord. He alone can never die. And he lives in light so brilliant that no human can approach him. No human eye has ever seen him, nor ever will. All honor and power and glory to him forever and ever. Listen to this. Teach those who are rich in this world not to be proud and not to trust in their money, which is so unreliable. Their trust should be in God, who richly gives us all we need for our enjoyment. Oh, bless the Lord. What is your hope and what is your trust in, guys? I want to challenge you. In this world where we are so comfortable, we're the king of comfort. We're the queen of comforts in our own life, in our own hearts, in our own home. We have built this castle of our own life. Are you stepping out of your comfort zone? Are you, without wavering, standing on the line saying, <clears throat> God, I love you. God, I serve you. Lord, just like it says, I am going to live. Uh, he said, so run you, woman of God, man of God. He said, run from all these evil things. You guys, we have got to stand up for righteousness, holiness, and truth. Beloved, us as Christians, we cannot go with the flow of this world. We are a peculiar people. We are a chosen and an anointed nation. We are not like the world. We are not like everybody else. God's hand is on us. His seal is on us. We have the Holy Spirit living inside of us. And I encourage you guys, my heart is so stirred and pleading with you. The heart of God is crying out saying, live righteously. Live boldly for me. Proclaim who I am to this lost and dying world. He said, so run from all these evil things. Pursue righteousness. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. He said, pursue righteousness and go a godly life along with faith, love, perseverance, and gentleness. Fight the good fight of faith and hold tightly to the eternal life to which God has called you. Guys, eternity is calling out. Heaven is real. Hell is real. And eternity is never, ever, ever ending. And with my time with the Lord, just, just stirring my heart, guys, for the reality that not everyone that calls out Lord, Lord is going to be saved. Because on the day of judgment, beloved, he's going to say, I never knew you. Oh my God, that should stir your heart. That should pierce your heart like an arrow. That he is the beloved Jesus, the Savior that died for all of us. He is going to say, I never knew you. Why is he going to say that? Because there's no intimacy. That this generation, this people that are in church, playing church in the world. Oh, I'm a Christian, but you don't act nothing like Jesus. You look nothing like Jesus. Beloved, he's going to say, I never knew you. Because I didn't know you intimately. I didn't know you. You didn't know my presence. You didn't spend time with me. You didn't pray. He said, if you love me, you're going to obey me. Guys, we have to get back to the real deal. And I've already made my mind up a long time ago. And I tell him, God, I don't care what the price is. I'm going to pay the price to live before you because I love you. And I'm going to pay the price to say what you tell me to say. This world... The world hates, hated Jesus. It's going to hate us. Oh, but beloved, don't you want to know him intimately? Don't you want him to say, oh, come in. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. 
Oh, I know that's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. And I will hear that because my mind's made up. I am going to serve the Lord. I am going to love him. I'm not going to live as close to the world and the line to see just how much I can sin, but still go to heaven. No, my Jesus died and paid the price. Listen to this. Yeah, this is what he showed. This is what he showed me along with this. He said, "This this year is leap year." He said, "What you couldn't get over before now, you will." He said, "What you struggled with before, you will leap over now." But here is the deal: if you believe, he said, "Believe in your heart and by your words." Okay, so you believe in your heart and by your words, what you speak, what you confess. But beloved, this is what he said, that things, I'm going to read that again. He said that this leap year, this is what this represents. He said, what you couldn't get over before now, he said, you will. Okay, what you couldn't get over before now, you will. Okay, he said, what you struggled with before, you will leap over now if you believe. Okay, he said, believe in your heart. And by your words, which is your actions, okay? What you're confessing. He said, believe even when it doesn't look like you're free from that struggle. Whatever that struggle is. I don't care if it's an addiction, if it's alcohol, if it's pills. I don't care if it's whatever your addiction is. You might be so bound by porn. You might be bound by all the lust of the flesh. You might be bound in a homosexual lifestyle. Whatever your struggle is. If you believe, beloved, you can and will be free in Jesus' name. Okay, he said, believe me, believe in my word. Okay, he said, I watch over my word to perform it. Guys, and when he spoke that to me, oh, he watches over his word to perform it. Oh, beloved, he loves us so incredibly much. He said, everything that you have need of, I have already provided. Get that in your heart. Get that in your spirit. Whatever we have need of, he has already provided. But what happens is the enemy lies to us and believes that, no, I've messed up. No, I've done this. No, it's not there. No, 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 no. The devil is a liar. We have got to believe the word. This is what he said. I have already provided. He said, it is finished. Beloved, that's why he said it. He's hanging on the cross. Okay. He said, it is finished. He didn't say, I'm almost done. It's going to be done. He said, it is finished. It is finished. And he said, you just have to believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that you believe. Oh, bless the Lord. He said, see, I provided the rest for my people. I brought them through the wilderness and provided for them over and over. But they hardened their hearts and rebelled against me. So they did not enter into my rest because of their unbelief. And I just wrote, oh, Jesus, have mercy. Oh, let me see. Okay, last part, listen to this. He said, this is the day and the time of giving all, not part. Beloved, I hope you hear the cry of God. I hope you hear the heart of God as you listen to this, that these words are not words from me, from my mind, but these are words from the heart of God that he knows each and every one of us. He knows what we're facing and he knows what we're going through. And guys, we have got to stand up just as a scripture that I read you. Okay, that we persevere, that we live a godly life, that we, um, along with our faith and our love and our gentleness, that we fight this good fight for the true faith, not a fake faith. We can confess whatever we want, but if we're not believing it, if we're not speaking it and living it, you can say all day, I'm a Christian. Oh yeah, I love the Lord. Oh, I do this. But are, is your life lining up with it? Are your actions lining up with this? Oh, bless the Lord. God, I want to read this part again. He said, but you, Timothy, are a man of God. You, beloved, you are a woman of God. You are a man of God. He said, run from these evil things. So see, that shows you right there, the little waterfall of grace. The devil is a liar. You can't live under the waterfall of grace anyway, because that's a lie. And that is such a deception because we know the truth and the truth we know will set us free. If you love God with all your heart, all your soul, all your might and all your strength, you are going to run this race knowing that the prize is before us, which is Jesus which is knowing him intimately, which is knowing he's going to say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter into my rest. He is going to know us on the day of judgment. He's not going to say, turn from me. He is going to know us. Oh, beloved. He said, run from evil. 
evil. We all know what's wrong. We all know the things that we shouldn't do, that, but we still play with it. Why? Why do we do that? Why? Why when we know that God's telling us, don't do that. Don't go here. Don't have this relationship. Don't connect to these people. Don't make that phone call. Don't take this phone call. You know, why do we continue to pursue these things? Beloved, we have got to step out from among them. He said, come out from among them and be separate from the world. Oh, beloved, Jesus is coming back and I pray you hear the cry of God. Listen to this. I'm going to read this part again. This is the last part and then I'm done. He said, this is the day and the time of giving all, not part. Oh, listen to this, guys. This is Hebrews 4 and 12. It says, for the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharp. Listen to this. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword. Think about a knife, a sword. I mean, I've, I've you know, kind of nick the end of it just to see how sharp it was think about it the sharpest knife you could think of or find he said for the word of god is alive and powerful it is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword cutting between the soul and the spirit between the joint and the marrow i love the word of god listen to what it says it exposes our innermost thoughts and our desires Nothing in all creation is hidden from God. Everything is naked and exposed before his eyes. And he is the one whom we are accountable to. So guys, with that scripture being said, I'm going to read this last part that he said. This is the day and the time of giving all, not part. See, God already knows our thoughts. He knows our intentions. He knows our desires. He knows our motive. So I encourage you, beloved. I encourage you to get before God. I encourage you to ask the Holy Spirit, search my heart. Created me a clean heart and a right spirit. If there's anything that separates me from me and you, Jesus, if there's any sin in my heart, show me. And guys, he is calling out to his children. He is calling out to his children. And I pray, I pray that you hear the cry of God. And right now, I want to give you an opportunity. If you are have been away from the Lord, you have been cold and indifferent and backsliding. What does backsliding mean? That means you're not going forward with God. You're going backwards. You're not burning, running hot for God, staying in the word, praying, filling your spirit up. But you're going back to the old life, the old ways, not reading your Bible, not praying, not being into church, not seeking God. That's backsliding, beloved. So I want to give you the opportunity right now. If you do not know the Lord or you've been backslidden or you've gone away, just say, Jesus, forgive me. He's so merciful. He said, I will forgive you of everything. I will heal you of all your diseases. Are you sick with sin of disease? Are you sick with infirmities in your body? All we have to do is confess our sins. And he is faithful and just to forgive us of all our sins. Just say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart. Cleanse me. Restore me and make me whole. I give you my yesterday, my today, my forever. I say forever yes to you. Jesus, help me to know you and walk with you and love you and live for you. Surround me with people that love you. Ask the Lord, take the people. We have to take accountability for our own actions and our own sin. Ask the Lord, take people out of my life, God, that do not love you and they don't want to serve you and they don't have my best interests at heart. Lord, surround me with people that love you. Surround me with people that fear you. Surround me with people that are going to pray for me and with me and encourage me and lift me up. But Lord, I want to live for you. And I say, yes, Lord, yes, forever, yes. In Jesus' name, beloved, that's all you have to say. Your name goes in the Lamb's Book of Life. You are saved. Get into a church that loves the Lord. They preach against sin. They preach the word of God. And they preach on the love of God. Oh, beloved, you are so loved and cherished. So right now I want to pray, Lord, I just pray a blessing for each and every person. Listen to this under the sound of my voice. Whether you're on YouTube or whether you're through Facebook, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're going through, God sees you. He loves you. He is for you. And beloved, right now, I believe that the Lord is touching you. He is healing you. He is ministering to you. He has given you peace in your mind where there's been chaos. He is healing the brokenness in your heart. And he is mending you and putting you back together. Beloved, you believe the word, just like I, just like he told me to say, okay? Just like he said, if you believe, believe in your heart and with your mouth. He said, what you couldn't get over before now, you will. He said, what you've struggled with before now, you will leap over if you believe. So Lord, I pray right now you would strengthen the faith of each and every person. Listen to this. Under the sound of my voice that you would strengthen their faith, strengthen their heart, strengthen their minds and their emotions. Lord, in Jesus' name. And I just ask you to breathe the ru the, ru the breath of life, the breath of God, the zoe life over them in Jesus' name. 
Oh, bring everything together in their lives. And I thank you, Lord, for doing that in Jesus' name. Beloved, we serve a mighty God. He watches over his word to perform it. Whatever he speaks, he will do. But we have to do our part. That's believe. And we have to believe by faith. Walk in faith. Speak the word. Live the word, beloved. And check our hearts and make sure there's nothing between us and Jesus. He loves us so much. We are his beautiful children. He loves us. So I love you guys. God bless you. I know this is for some people out there tonight. I know it is. So you be blessed.